It's my feel good breakfast show. Now, it is Sustainability Week this week, and one of the key issues to ensure global sustainability is, of course, education, particularly in the fields of maths and science. Now, one group of South African teens is taking their education to new heights by embarking on a project to create Africa's very first private satellite. And with us in studio to tell us a bit more about this ambitious project is Judy Sandrock, the co-founder and joint CEO of Meta Economic Development Organization, uh, which is running the project, and also Carla de Klerk, who is the editor at Media Publications. Thank you very much for joining us this morning, ladies. Thank you so much for having us on the show. And this is very, very exciting indeed. I mean, when you think of youngsters taking on the world like this, creating their very own private satellite, uh, give us a bit of a background on the program, exactly what it involves and how this idea came about. The way it, ca it came about originally is <coughs> that we realized that there's a massive growing industry, private sector industry, when it comes to small satellites. Mm -hmm. So what we've done is we've purchased a satellite and a launch for next year. Mm -hmm. And what we decided to do is, in order to design the payload for that satellite, we would give the opportunity to high school learners to do exactly that. Yeah. And, and how, how important is the need to start developing these maths and scientific skills where youngsters at high school level can even start designing things like this? How important is it? Well, if you look at maths and science, maths and science is, in theory, a bunch of boring academics sitting in a university. Maths <laughs> a lot of them don't like you right now. Yeah. <laughs> well, we need them, yeah, but maths and science is largely the field of problem solving. Mm. Um, if you look at South Africa especially, we, we have structural problems that need solving. Um, we can go into that into, into very deeply, but the thing is, less than 10% of girls at, at school level show an interest in maths and science. Wow. And we really need to get those girls interested, get them going with it. And there's just so much opportunity that's available out there. Yeah. And so do you think this is a more um, kind of practical way of approaching education these days, giving learners a hands-on experience of what it's like to actually work in these fields, thus making them more interested? Yes, certainly. What we want to do is we want to inspire young women to get involved in the field. I myself, I'm a, I studied chemical engineering, mm -hmm. so I had a fantastic career. And there was a lot of equality in terms of how I was paid, versus my male counterparts. I really had a terrific career. And what I'd like to do is open up the field to young women. Mm -hmm. And really it comes from inspiration from a young age. I was very lucky, I got very inspired by one of my science teachers. And what we want to do is we want to create the same inspiration yeah. for and, young women. And what will this satellite actually be able to do once it's created? I mean, we're seeing some <clears throat> great images over there of, of lovely little science projects, but once this project is put together, what will it actually be able to do? There's over 100 applications that the satellite could actually perform. And what we want to do is we want to open it up to the high school learners in terms of what do they want to use it for. In other words, what, what can we maybe measure mm -hmm. uh, in terms of data, yeah. collecting data around uh, food security, weather patterns, wow. water security. So there's a lot of very practical applications. Yeah. And it's up to the high school learners to decide what That's they fantastic. want to use it for. When's launch date? When can we have, have a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 So off? next year, 2016, we're sending the, the satellite off. And then also for the next five years, we're also sending more satellites off wow. because we want the program to go on and on and on. Beautiful. Um, and if you want to know more, please go to our website, mm -hmm. mido.co.za. Fantastic. Thank you very, very much, ladies. Really exciting stuff. And right here in our very own backyard. And to those teenagers out there embarking on this incredible project, it really is proof that you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. And just uh, as Carla just said now, for more information uh, on the STEM project, you can visit mido.co.za.